Hello everyone. Today I'll be teaching you how to make a uriwishida bowl like this one. All right, let's get started. Number one, you need a long bamboo stick like this, about like 123 cm. Um, it's not that specific though, just just about that length. Maybe 130 cm, it should be fine. And you need a marker. Yeah. Duct tape, preferably black, um, black, yeah. Glue, Yuhu glue, see? And glue gun and uh, glue sticks, bow stick. Um, I highly recommend it um, to buy the glue sticks and the gun because it runs out really quickly. And of course, foam. Foam is your best friend when it comes to cosplay. And you need rulers. Rulers are key. And before I forget, I should have some wire around here. Who took the wire? Give it back. Yes, wire. Flip wire. Copper. All right. And I've already placed several markings on the bamboo stick, as you can see. And there will be specific spots so I'm going to glue on the foam, such as here, don't have a heart shape, and okay, I know it doesn't really look like it, but a cross mark. A cross, okay, never mind. And yes, several uh, similar ones. <coughs> I'm going to wait for the glue gun to be heated up because I just plugged it in just now. So. And now, um, I actually draw the measurements already. Sorry, it's a little messy. Um, over here, it'll be 8.5 cm. See? And I decided to make this white thing here, um, what to call it really, 12 cm. And here I put it as six centimeters. You can make this um, the same as over here, but um, I found it it was kind of messy for me, so I just change it. So now it's five cm. Um, I actually tried to make the top of the bowl, the the you know um, where the bowl is split into two. This is black part, and then I wanted like over here. This long white part over here, I wanted to make the whole thing 50. So, this, yes, this is inclusive of the 50 cm. So, you know, just use whatever um, length you want for it. Right, um, right, by, by this time the glue should have already started to melt, like this one. So, I'm going to start to do it. I'm going to start attaching this thing here. My hand stays. At The glue from the um from the hot glue gun dries really quickly, so you have to make sure that you have the things in hand and I'll just mash it down on it. <laughs> right, and from here to here will be the place where I will put the duct tape for the handle. 
And remember, always make your layer thick and nice. You might want to do it from the back to make sure that it doesn't go away and doesn't give a response. Should a scenario like this happen where the glue gun is coming off glue already, you just need something sharp like a pencil or a pen to push the glue in for the moment so that it won't don't waste the glue. Oh shit. Push. Oops. Shit. <clears throat> push your pen. Push it into the hole. Push the stick into the hole. And there you are. You're done for this portion. Just make sure that all the bonds are secure and nothing is going to come off. You have to make sure. Now I've already started the sorry about the pen. I've already started taping on the black thing, the black duct tape. And yes. You can use any kind of duct tape you want, provided that you can color it black afterwards or spray paint it black. I'm pretty sure duct tape can be spray painted. As you can see, I've already done both sides. If you want both sides to be symmetrical, you can place it on flat on the other surface and trace it over and then cut it out so that you don't have to go through the trouble of just measuring everything 